Hey, gonna try and show you guys how to install the potato washing system. Now, of course, it says placeable, and if you want to go that route, that's fine. But in the download description, it has the placeable and the one you can put in with the map. A lot of times, Marhu's site, which Farmer Andy, I think, did this one, he does good mods. He'll do it and then convert it to a placeable, but it, he keeps it in the same download. So if you, if all you can find is the placeable, just click on it and it'll uh, should have the regular one in there. I was doing a search for it. One thing it does have is it requires the compost because it makes compost. Yeah, every map I've did, I converted the compost machine to make manure because of the soil mod. So I'm going to see if I can uh, install this and just convert it to silage where it produces silage, or not silage, but chaff since that's already a registered fruit and the compost machine does not produce compost. Although it's, I have to look at the scripting, but we can just go ahead and get, try and get started. Uh, here's the fuel plane, so let's see. We may or may not need this, being it's put in the pallet. So hopefully we'll get this done in one video. If not, we'll split them up. So I'm going to probably put it, yeah. I've already downloaded it, but all of Marhu site mods your map models, uh, buildings. I usually put all of their mods together and I've already put it in here. Back in February, I just never installed it in the map, so. Uh, let's see. So when you download it, of course, you'll unzip it and like I say, I just usually their their items with uh, the silo band, the the swine mass, things like that. I just all have always kept their directory map models buildings. And like I said, I stuck it in here some time ago and never installed it. But I'll usually look and see. I'll try and check check the script for any thing unusual or errors and it's going to work something like the the uh, the greenhouses and see this is something else I do the texture and is obviously a German word and I changed to English so if you don't have notepad plus plus uh, get it now you don't have to change this but apparently I had already started changing it and didn't follow suit you can leave it uh, when you download it it's gonna say texturing right here but I just prefer English myself <clears throat> but if you don't have notepad plus plus get it because you can do a lot of things easier We'll find it. You can also do a replace, and I have named the folder Textures, and it'll replace every one for me. Okay, and that's it. I'll save that. Uh, one thing you want to make sure this uh, external shape file palette i3D. 
this is where it's this uh, 3D script file is going to look for this palette. And if you open this up in Giants Editor, this is basically the machine itself. Uh, one, like I say, the thing, the product that comes out here is. Uh, <clears throat> I believe a compost and I'm going to probably change it to uh, a silage or something like that. Maybe. We'll see. I have my uh, windows uh, on my other screen so so I have more room here but I'll move it over if I do anything <coughs> yeah this fuel type is compost here so I'll just put it there I don't need that for now put in the user attributes menu and the output product too is compost like I say, it is a registered fruit, but I'm going to change it to chafe. And just leave the. I'll change this too and see if that makes a difference. At 10,000, what the biggest problem is that creates a heap and uh, I'm not sure if the front loader will load compost even though it's registered maybe a modded one to do it but just I mean chafe you, th you think about what chafe is it's basically just chopped up grass or corn or whatever I mean we're looking at the waste from clean potatoes might as well call it chafe. The exception to that is you won't be able to use it for uh, the uh, comp. You won't be able to use it for. Let's well in the last update on the soil mod because these they'll try and work together and make things compatible so you don't have just one piece of equipment sitting out there and not doing the m other mods any good so unfortunately the compost machine went come out last year and I felt like I wanted it to make manure for fields versus uh, yeah, you know the compost so the exception to this is I could either we could either change it back to compost change the the compost machine back to compost but if you're just starting out and you want to put this in your map and you do not have the compost machine then it would be better to change the output product to something else. So, uh, unless we change the fill planes or, or the particle, then it's going to kind of probably look like whatever particle they use for compost, but it's going to be registered or as chafe, and hopefully we'll be able to pick it up and shovel it. So, let's just... Uh, Let's just say we're going to install this in the map. <clears throat> I hope this doesn't confuse anyone or make it more difficult, but like I said, some of those mods go together. And if, if I was to keep it at compost, then in the map I would have to change the machine back to uh, producing compost. but for me it it serves my purpose so like I said if you want to install this in your map 
and I'm going to show you how. But also, like I say, I changed the fill type to chafe, so we may have a little work to do to test it and make sure it works correctly. So, want it? Well, let's see. Let's. I haven't really changed anything else, so we'll save it. Be we want this to be the same. And this name here, it doesn't really matter, but the fill type actually does. All right. So it's in the map, or it's not in the map, but it's fixing to be. Yeah, let's see what I changed to. Let's see if I found it. Let's see if it. Yeah, fill top opacity. Yeah. Okay, so it changed it in this here, and we could have changed it here instead of opening the mod and changing it, but. A lot of times it's easier to just open the mod. So we'll close that out. We have the textures. We have, uh, let's see, I didn't. <clears throat> uh, i tell you something we may want to double check to. Well, no. Yeah, we have HUDs. And this one, I need those. Let's see if any one of those is too big. <clears throat> Depending on the size, you'll get errors for the... There's all the extra textures, so... This is another thing. <clears throat> if you notice, we changed the here <clears throat> for uh, one, two, just five. Supposedly, only five items are looking, in, but there's a lot more. So, when we go to import this, we'll see if it turns white. We may have to look for the directory to see where uh, the rest of these textures need to go. So, let's just go open it up. <clears throat> I think being the potato and sugar beet areas here, I think I would like to put it somewhere in this area. <clears throat> I want plenty of room for equipment to spin around. Hmm. Let's just try it right here. <coughs> we'll just try it right here just to see. File, import, models, buildings, potato washer. We leave the palette one alone. Don't mess with it because this is actual mine and it's going to pull this from here. So the only thing you need to import is the potato washer. And it brought its own camera with it. And I usually just delete that camera, it's, it's, it's not needed. So, this is where it is. Not sure I'll like it right there, but there again, we'll see. Let's move it. <clears throat> and we'll check and make sure the ground is not up anywhere okay <clears throat> I also like to put it somewhere else I always create a 
same graph. <clears throat> Put it into add-ons and keep that as small as possible. That's just a preference. You can do whatever. <clears throat> but let's see. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's save this. And what we're gonna do? is look for usually there's directions and I'm almost certain it uses the fabric script <clears throat> but I'm not sure so let me go to I downloaded <clears throat> Excuse me, I downloaded the mod some time ago. And normally eh, they'll let you know what script you need. And this fabric script is the latest or the last updated one, I believe. <clears throat> Let's see. There it is right there. So when you <coughs> download it, let's just go back to the actual folder we're in. Not models, buildings, potato washer. Yeah. This script come with it. Now, this is, uh, let's see, in this reg fill types of lore. That one will probably be. register fruit uh, okay now what happens is when they do these they also did it as a as a placeable so if you are making maps and and these scripts need to be inside the mod itself when it's placeable it will automatically read these scripts but if you get to making maps regular you realize that you have they're not going to tell you everything so you have to actually move this around and anytime you get a mod off a of market site you're going to notice that they use the regular fill tops Lua a lot and I always keep it in here because this is the origination of it or I say I keep it here, but <clears throat> I may have moved it also. Oh shoot! Let's see if it. We'll find it here. I got more than one script folder, so yeah, I've moved all my scripts to a folder. But this is the. Now that one's called Field Tops Regular. And like I say, the only thing, let's see what we can do here. Yeah. See, they piggyback off of this, this Lua. And with this Lua, with a lot of their mods, you can just about do any mod you want to just piggybacking off of this Lua. That's basically what they did. So, the fruit register or register fruit type, compost, yada yada yada, true, 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 print, let's see. You know what, since he's already, since this is a completely different one, this will work out better for you guys, so we will just uh, be in its two different names. A lot of times, like say the like the palette, the uh, the uh, greenhouse palette or greenhouses. These were done. Uh, you can 
just about red and at one time I used this for uh, NPK mods so you can uh, register add it in here and of course this was the other but <coughs> so since it's two different Lua's that'll work out great so all we have to do let's just close this out all you have to do now is wherever you're storing your scripts and since I've got all of mine in this script folder you go back to your folder now I'm in the wrong one. I need to be in it. Let's just close that out. Models, buildings, potato washer. We want to take this script out. And put it here. Field types, regular lore. It's in your script folder. Now, just going to copy that name. I'll show you why. Go to your go to your mod description file. And scroll down to where you see extra source files. These are all the scripts that's been activated, see? We put the script in this folder. So, and normally it doesn't matter where. Some will put it behind or below. I am just going to put it here. Let's just do this. And copy, paste, get that back out, back out, and remember we got to change the name because we copied and pasted and used. <coughs> what was the name of it? Fuel types, regular. Field types underscore regular lore. Okay. Now what this does is when your map loads, it will recognize this lure, load it, and then it will supposedly cause the mod to work. Let's uh, look at the lure a minute. <coughs> and we're registering compost. So that's the HUD file, unless you change the HUD. Remember, we changed it to Chase. So we could actually leave this, I think. We'll try it. Yeah, we'll just leave it because we changed the output type to a Chafe. So this isn't going to matter. This is just going to register that fruit type. So, okie dokie. This has been done. Sometimes you do have to go into your 110 section, your text, and register the type or the name. And I'm almost certain I will have to put washed potato in here somewhere. So let's uh, make sure. I think I will have to add or edit the... And like I see, sometimes I actually put the directions in here. Uh, it's inside the download, but I probably discarded it. Yeah. That's what we'll do. We'll just see if it... Let's just see what it does. So we have it in here, and we have the script. So let's save this, and let's load up the game and see. Yeah, I'm 
I have a regular, I have a game already saved, so 